Hey everyone, we are live for this week's live session. Every Tuesday at 3, we are live and we talk about entrepreneurial and business questions. This week, we're talking about paying yourself first and how you should go around investing. Shalandri, thanks for joining in. Uh, we are here today at Cappuccino's in Waverly Plaza, um, close to where I live. And uh, we have our consulting session meeting day today. So I have over eight meetings that I did today, uh, you know, hour by the hour, back-to-back -back meetings, which is awesome. So if, you, if you're keen on getting some entrepreneurial business consulting, contact me. Uh, once a month, I book meetings back-to-back -back for the whole day, and then I help guys with their businesses and their entrepreneurial journey and their mindset and everything you need um, to become a successful entrepreneur. So... That's my day today, very, very busy. Uh, I'm busy since seven this morning, and I'm going till six today, back-to-back -to -back meetings, um, so that's awesome. Guys, we're talking about paying yourself first. Uh, Theo, good to see you online, drive safe. Uh, Shalandri, uh, Just Streams, and Ricardi, thanks for joining in today. So we're talking about paying yourself first. What do you mean, Albert? So this is a concept that I got from Robert Kiyosaki's book um, and it's saying that you pay your future self first, okay? So I, I, I adapted it slightly, but it's all about investing your money first before you can spend it. Because guys, let's be honest, if you have 5,000 Rand in your bank account um, and you think you're going to save 2,000 of it by the end of the month, <laughs> you're kidding yourself, okay? You're never ever going to save. 2,000 Rand at the end of the month if you have 5,000 Rand in your bank account because you're going to spend it on shoes or nice phones or data or dinners or whatever or dates. You're going to spend it. So the concept about paying yourself first is before you even touch that money, as soon as your salary comes into your account, as soon as your business income comes into your account, you immediately put it away into an investment fund um, and make sure that you invest it first before you can even touch it. And that's the concept. So as the money comes into your account, you put it into an investment account immediately and then you live as if you never had it. You live as if you've never had it. So if you get 5,000, you put 2,000 away immediately into an investment fund, um, into uh, an investment and then um, you have to live on the other 3,000. So you force yourself to survive on that 3,000. And what that creates is it cre creates more uh, financial awareness on your expenditure. Because now you have, to, you have to come through the month with that 3,000. You have to focus on saving a bit. You have to focus on you know, spending your money better. You have to focus on how you use your money. So this method forces you to think a bit more about how you spend your money and you'll see that you'll be able to survive on the 3,000. Uh, the rule is whatever is available will always be used. Uh, we learned that as industrial engineers. So when we had to design a process, we had to say whatever is available will always be used. So if you limit what's available, um, you, would, you would put pressure on the system to survive with only what's available. Um, so that's the concept, guys. Uh, Shalandri, Just Dreams, Ricardo, Theo, Ati, and uh, Reginald, welcome to the live session every Tuesday at 3. If you have any business questions or entrepreneurial questions, ask them now, and we can talk about it live, and we can discuss it and answer some of the questions. Michael, thanks for joining in. Um, so we're talking about paying yourself first and how that works. Now to add on to that, I always tell the story about a rabbit farm, okay? Let's say you have one rabbit, like right? one rabbit. Can that rabbit breed more rabbits? No, it can't on its own. Now let's say you get two rabbits. If you keep both those two rabbits in the pen, they will quickly become four rabbits, okay? And then eight rabbits, and then 16 rabbits, and then before you know it, you have 20 rabbits in your pen okay 20 of them what if you take 19 of those rabbits out of the pen again what happens 
you're stuck again with one rabbit that can't make more rabbits. So that's an issue, guys. A lot of people that I deal with, business owners, um, guys that's investing personally, that's making money, the little bit of money that you do get from your day job, from your small business, um, from whatever you do, that little bit of money, don't spend it, okay? Don't take your rabbits out of the pen again, because then it can't grow. But if you leave all of your rabbits in the pen, I promise you, they will become more and they'll grow exponentially. I promise you. So keep your rabbits in the pen and invest it and pay yourself first, um, like we just discussed. So as soon as the income comes in, as soon as the money comes in, put it away immediately and then you have to survive on the rest. You have to survive on the rest. And that forces you to think about finance and how you handle your finance. Um, Shalandri just streams, Ricardo, Theo, Ati, Reginald, Michael, Zander, and um, <coughs> JNG Vlogs. Uh, thanks for joining in. Uh, great to see you guys on the live session. Uh, please let me know if there's anything you want to know about business or entrepreneurship, and we will talk about it live. Cool, guys. So, and just some more news on this week. I'm going to Bloemfontein tomorrow. I'm going to talk at the General Volksblad Sake Slim Congress. It's awesome news. Uh, it's the annual con congress. And I'm going to talk about my journey and lessons I've learned. So, if you're in Bloemfontein watching this right now, don't miss uh, the General Blue Star Sake Slim Congress. It's going to be awesome. Guys, so pay yourself first. Invest your money first. Put the pressure on. And remember about the rabbits, okay? Um, keep your money invested and don't spend everything because then you're um, decreasing the amount that your money can grow exponentially. So that's what I wanted to share this week. Uh, be sure to check in every Tuesday at 3 and get your questions, questions ready for next week's live session. And then you can share them and we can talk about it and answer your entrepreneurial and business questions on the live session. Cool guys, have a great day and see you again next week.